I'm going to talk today about social media and you. And I'm going to start by talking about how the internet works. Basically, the internet is a gigantic network of a whole bunch of computers. Many millions, if not billions, of computers are connected through the internet. And I know that all of these computers are connected to each other via the infrastructure that makes the internet work, because otherwise things like Skype and BitTorrent clients wouldn't work. You have to be connected to each other to be able to communicate with each other. Normally, when you go and access a website, you access the website through your internet service provider, who then sends you the information you need to connect to the next computer in the chain so you can connect eventually to your website. Sometimes there may be as many as 20 computers communicating on your behalf when you connect to a website. Then that website is downloaded to your computer through all the other computers so you can look at it. Consequently, every computer between you and your end source, the website, is going to necessarily know a little bit about what you are viewing on that website. The small exception here is if the website is encrypted, like a banking website. This is a picture of the internet, a representation, and you may notice that it is very, very crowded. And the big picture there that you're seeing, the little end bits are actually connected to networks of computers. So like, you, like I was saying, the, computer, the internet is vast. There are many millions of computers. A consequence of this is that really when you're on the internet, you do not have privacy. You don't have the privacy that you think that you have. Because every time you connect, every computer that you connect to, every website you connect to, knows some information about you. That's one of the reasons why you might notice that when you Google stuff, the ads on the side or the ads in Facebook are often really relevant to you personally. Because, you know, advertisers are keeping track of what websites you visit, so then they know what information to feed you. Anything you post can be saved for later. It took me one minute to figure out how to save Snapchat videos. And everything you post becomes part of your digital tattoo. 